My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a super rare 1973 Oldsmobile Hearst. They made 1,097 total, and they say very few survived because it was a unique body style, unique parts, so they didn't get restored. Not many of them left today. This one here we got from the original owner. It's a one owner car. 35,000 actual miles. It's actually the original paint, original interior. He did use it as a show car, so he did detail up the motor and has a few pieces of chrome and a couple different things. The underside of the car is detailed for show also. And uh, I had the door open here because I couldn't wait to show the swivel seats. That is so cool. And this has a copy of the original title. Uh, it has signed by Linda Vaughn. Uh, to Ronnie from Miss Hurst, uh, original invoice. We have original registrations. We have the glove box pouch uh, with the protecto, well, not the protecto plate, but the warranty booklet, manuals. That'll all come with the car as well. So it's got some neat, neat literature. Really cool car. Go to volocars.com. As you can read all the specs and study over 100 pictures top to bottom. And that is where you'll find prices on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale, volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, that way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, really cool car, you just don't see them. I was excited to have it here. Uh, as I told you, he used the car as like his show car for the last several decades. So underneath the car, it looks like the body was pulled from the frame. It's detailed up. The floors are immaculate, dry, clean metal. They've not been rusted, not been cut or patched. And they're all painted a nice uh, gloss black or semi-gloss black. Uh, even up behind the tire here, the drain plug is still there. It's not cut or rusted. Uh, the front end looks like it's all been rebuilt. All the ball joints, bushings, steering components, uh, all of it looks uh, to be in excellent condition. Uh, same thing as in the back. It has the rally suspension. It comes with stiffer springs and shocks and front and rear sway bars. It has a custom exhaust. You'll hear it towards the end. It sounds really good. Uh, it does have a set of coated headers that go into three inch pipe with a crossover pipe. So that three inch pipe goes into polished stainless mufflers. And then you got the tailpipe with some nice turn down tips kind of tucked up under there. So real nice exhaust system. Uh, the brakes have been redone. The e-brake cables are hooked up. The hoses look good. There are disc brakes in front, drum and back. Fuel tank looks like it's new or repainted. The straps look clean and new. Um, you look up at the motor, it's super clean, has a chrome oil pan, has a polished high torque starter. The VIN number matching, the original Turbo 400 automatic, uh, has a aluminum pan on the bottom of it. Uh, I was just reading up on the Hearst stalls. It does say that Hearst put a 3000 stall converter in their transmissions. Uh, the rear end, the whole unit is clean, nice, smooth, painted. I don't think it has a chrome cover, but the bolts on the cover were new, but you can look at the pictures. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is bottom of this car is like new. Top of the car, this is original paint, and it actually shows really well. There's a little blend down here, and you have to look for it. So a little blend right there. Uh, I think maybe the same thing on the other side, but all this is smooth and shiny, uh, no rust, no damage, never been hit. There are some chips right along the edge here. You must have backed out of the garage and been too close to the wall. Yeah, same thing, a little blend right there if you look for it. But the body is real straight. Uh, again, no blisters, no damage. I didn't see any cracking in the paint. Now the stripes, 
Well, I'll tell you what the hearse meant. These were sent to Hearst Performance. The Oldsmobile arrived at their shop, and they went ahead and they put the stripes on, uh, these reverse hood louvers, the uh, hood ornament that flexes, uh, the padded roof. The Cutlass had a big quarter window. They put on this padded roof with a smaller window with the Hearst Oles decal in the middle. Uh, it has the Hearst dual gate shifter in there, 455 motor. Uh, Super Stock 3 wheels, what that means is Super Stock 3 is uh, gold, and then the trim is real nice on them. Uh, so getting back to the body, it's in excellent shape, but the stickers, the original stickers are chipped and peeling in a few places. In the trunk, we have a brand new set of decals. So the next guy might want to leave it original, might want to put new stickers on. Uh, padded tops in real nice shape. The stainless trim is really nice and shiny. All the glass is crystal clear. It is the original windshield. It's crystal clear. Uh, sunroof was added back in the 70s. They did a real nice job. The bumpers, the trim, the taillights, all exceptionally nice. Really shiny. The rub strips are not beat up. Now, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to original spatter paint. I just love it. A clean, immaculate trunk like this. Most every old car you see has a spatter paint from the can that sprays over everything, hides everything. This is the original gray and white spatter on perfectly clean metal. Here's the stripes that I was referring to. All the rubber, still soft. Door jams are real nice and clean. Big, giant, heavy doors. They don't drop at all. They open very easily. Noticing the interior lights are working. The front bumper, uh, I'm going to say front bumper has been re-chromed. It just looks like show quality. Beautiful chrome in the front. So it is the VIN number matching 455 motor. I put a little hotter cam in there. has a polished aluminum intake. Uh, has a Pretty recent Edelbrock, looks like it's a chrome-plated carburetor with electric choke, Mallory ignition, uh, chrome fuel pump. It is a factory air-conditioned car. The AC compressor needs to be replaced. Uh, all the components on the firewall, wiper motor, the AC box, the blower motor, all that's in excellent shape. The door panel is mint. The seats, I said they do swivel. Both sides swivel. The seats are in excellent shape. There's a little cracking in some of the seams. This is the BF Goodrich tire. It's one of the original tires on the spare with the matching Super Stock 3 wheel. Uh, the jack looks like it's never been used. It has the original mat, original stickers, original paint. Just a really nice trunk compartment. Even the one rear speaker back there is the original. Uh, so anyway, both seats swivel. Uh, it's got the sports steering wheel. I never see one that still has the bumps on it. it. Usually they're worn smooth. The dash area is mint. There's no cracks or splits in the dash pad. The bezels, the knobs, uh, the factory AM FM radio, the dash is mint. And the ashtray and cigarette lighter look like they've never been used. So we have power steering, power brakes, brand new alternator, battery is mounted properly. Look how the wires and hoses are all neatly run. Correct original uh, hose clamps, even the little plastic one holding it to the shroud here. Um, the overflow bottle, everything in here is in excellent shape. And again, it was a show car, so it's detailed up pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, getting back to the seats, like this one is excellent. The little tiny cracks, nothing that needs to be redone. Uh, seat belts are mint, carpet's original, and it's excellent. We didn't talk about the digital tachometer. That was an option. It did not come with all Hearst soles. It was an option by Hearst, not by Oldsmobile. They're digital. If you find one, you'll be lucky if it works. This is a working original digital tachometer. 
on that same center console is the uh, Hearst dual gate. Uh, and all that's just mint. Uh, headliner's real nice. There's a little discoloring in the white headliner, but it's excellent. There's no holes. The visors are excellent. Door jams, you can see, are real clean. The rubber. This door panel's really nice. Does have an electric fan in front of the radiator. There's a switch under the dash if you're ever in a really hot day or parade or whatever it may be. And there's that seat too. It's just a cool nifty feature at a car show. You leave it like that, people will come over. And everyone that sees that says, why don't all cars have that? I don't know. So there you have it. This is a rare car built by Hearst Performance. It was built by Oldsmobile, then sent to Hearst, where they did their thing to it. See, so yeah, a rare piece of muscle car history. 455 motor. I don't know if I mentioned that. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salespeople. If you have a specific question or concern, please make sure you ask them. They can also help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help with financing. Go to volocars.com before someone beats you to it. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.